hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you one flower vase in previous video also i have shown this one so this one is the opaque one so in today's video i'm going to paint the same version of the vase with same structure but in today's video we are going to paint the transparent version of the same vase so uh, let's start with the today's painting I'm using two size brush this is size 7 round brush and this is size 1 round brush for a smaller uh, element I'm going to use size 1 and for the bigger element I'm going to use size 7 round brush and I'm using this 300 gsm watercolor sheet and uh, let's create the basic drawing for the vase so create a basic structure like we did in the previous painting as well so I'm creating a very basic structure of a vase you can create something like this a glass kind of structure take all your time to draw this structure correct And uh, as the reflection of light is coming from the right side so I'm going to keep the reflection of light towards the right side and uh, I'm going to keep the lighter texture in the middle and towards the right side so and very fine oval shape at the top and uh, a reflection of light so we can add a texture something like this in this particular area so this area we need to keep clean and uh, this is filled with water as well so this much area is filled with water and we need one ellipsis as well so again a oval shape for the water so this is the basic structure and the light is coming from this side so keep uh, your color shade accordingly so lighter this lighter shade towards right darker shade towards left side those things you can do and then you can add a stem so I'm adding a stem with a leaf into it you can add multiple stems of flowers and leaves whatever you like to for now I'm keeping it simple I'm adding only one stem and then in the water area we are going to add later little tilted because of water now this is the basic structure now I'll start with the painting so I'm using this size 7 drawn brush to start with the initial paintings and uh, as far as color is concerned so I'm using this blue gray kind of color so I'm mixing black a little bit burnt sienna and blue to get something like this so this is towards blue side only but uh, towards gray as well so mix it well until you find your color shade I want to keep it very light so first rub the corners or rub both the side towards left and right side with the uh, water so wash those areas with the water first thoroughly so with the help of clean water I'm going back and forth multiple time both the sides
make sure you are applying water inside the vase do not go outside it wet this particular area thoroughly and then with the help of color just apply a layer of color into it it will gonna spread a little bit but that's fine and same thing we need to repeat on the other side as well keep it on the lighter side only because this is the transparent vase now with the help of same color let's create the water area so either you can apply a textured kind of pattern in the water like you can add little dark shade light shade water reflection those kind of things so i'm adding bigger elements first or else you can fill the water area with the same color both thing you can do so for today's painting i'm going to fill the area for the bottom portion i'm keeping one small negative space so i'm not touching that particular area with the color so if you're not comfortable doing that you can also mask that particular area with the masking fluid that is also fine for now i am rubbing my color into water uh, area to make it easier for beginners and as we don't have any reference point so you can do as per your imagination like i am doing here and if you feel your color is too dark you can anyways lift color from that particular area with the dry brush now let's move to the uh, reflection area so here we have two reflection area so we don't uh, want any color in that particular area but uh, around that area we need little dark shade so apply color applying color in this particular area keeping the reflection area clean and then with the help of clean water or clean brush just blend the color If you have any reference drawing then you can refer to that particular drawing and add your color uh, accordingly light where you want light shade and dark shade but as we are not using any reference here i am going with my instinct so spread the color or blend the color in that particular area and then you can apply a very hint of light blue in the middle so we also need white area as well so do not fill all area with the color keep 
white area as well that is absolutely needed when you trying to achieve transparent stuff let's do some highlight in the bottom area so as we have one small negative space in the bottom area so keep that negative space like that only because we need those things to add reflection in our vase you can apply a dark texture towards the corner okay that's it i guess for the bottom area now for the corner apply a dark shade throughout at the top ellipses as well with little bit of dark shade apply a little bit of dark texture in the water towards the left side so i'm applying the dark texture towards the left side blend the color properly and you can do the same thing throughout the left side also but let's do a little bit in this particular area so i'm applying dark shade again just clean your brush and blend the color pro properly that is absolutely needed Ag we are trying to achieve different shades of color here that's why we are applying color again and again but don't overdo it and do not forget to apply clean water or clean your brush before blending your color now we need little dark shade in the water area so i'm applying color in the water area a little bit but i'm going to lift some color from the middle section because we need a little bit light shade in the middle so with the help of dry brush i'm lifting some color from the middle section and i'm trying to add some texture in the reflection area so i think we are done almost done with the vase now we can apply a uh, color in the in our stems so i'm using sap green and purple mix to create a dark shade of green or olive green kind of color to create a stems so till water you can create a straight stem and then in the water area you need a little bit tilted stems because in the water 
you will not get the uh, same kind of reflection so you will get a little bit different reflection in of a stem in the water so that's why it is little bit tilted so these things are absolutely important you can add little bit of texture in the stems as well like extended small small stems and for the leaves i am using dark green color or sap green color i'm keeping the leaves and stems these things simple because we are focusing on flower vase so i'm keeping other things quite simple you can add anything whatever you like like flower or leaf or any texture or keep it uh blank as well that is also fine i'm just adding one more layer of dark shade towards the left side and i think we are done we can add a little reflection towards the bottom so this we have painted without any reference point but if you have reference point it is it would be easier for you to paint for today's painting i have used my imagination so in the previous video i have showed you one vase with the opaque uh, one so i have used the same version to paint the transparent a version of the same well so please do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video